Now, a peaceful start to the week in East Asia, keeping up the mild weather from the Lunar New Year. We like the sound of that. Elisa Raffert joins us now. Elisa, practically sunbathing weather in some parts <laughs> with a coat. Yeah, I mean, temperatures trending 10 to 15 degrees above average. So really warm, kicking out the snow and the ice. And you've got uh, some clear skies for the most part, just a few clouds over parts of eastern China. Now we will have a little bit of a storm try to develop uh, for eastern China over the next 24 to 48 hours. Could bring some showers from Shanghai and then parts of eastern China. But for the most part, a lot of this rain looks fairly light, 25 millimeters or less. You see that green pocket just out there of Wuhan. That's where you can find some rain totals up to 50 millimeters. Uh, but again, overall pretty benign rain. You've got temperatures at 14 degrees today in Seoul. Sunshine in Osaka temperatures at 15 degrees there. A couple of clouds in Shanghai, but there's that warm and mild air. That cold air stays bottled to the north. We're going to keep things on the mild side through the next couple of days. I mean, look at some of these temperatures. Hong Kong, you've got temperatures in the middle 20s through Thursday. Wuhan, even temperatures in the 20s through Wednesday. We keep things mild in Shanghai. You can see temperatures start to dip off by Thursday. That's where we start to bring in some of that rain, some of those showers that I was mentioning. But we bring back the sunshine pretty quickly and the temperatures rebound where your average is nine degrees this time of year. You're back in the 20s already, even by the end of the week and going into the weekend there. In the U.S., we're tracking a winter storm that's been bringing some heavy rain to parts of the south today. But as we look into tomorrow, we have winter storm warnings in effect from Boston to New York, even just outside of Philly. Now, this is significant because New York City has actually not had a winter storm warning in two years. It has been 743 days since New York City has seen more than two inches or five centimeters of snow. So they could get more snow than they've seen in the entire two year period in just one day tomorrow. Of course, in time for the morning commute too, Julia. <laughs> I was about to say I prefer it on a weekend. But anyway, <laughs> Lisa Rafa, thank you so much for that.